I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you questions relating distance, speed and time. The question here is, Peter drove 500 km from Windsor to Peterborough in 5.5 hours. He drove part of the way at 100 km per hour and rest at 80 km per hour. How far did he drive at each speed? So in this case, we want to find the distance traveled in each speed by Peter when he drove 500 kilometers from Windsor to Peterborough. You know distance is speed times times. We are going to use this relationship. Distance is speed into time. At times we make a triangle to remember how it is related, right? Distance, speed and time, right? Now I prefer to make a table of values to answer distance speed time questions. We'll make four columns, one for the activity, the other three for distance, speed and time, right? Now here, let's say this is distance, this is speed, this is time. Distance is in kilometers. Speed is in kilometers per hour. Time is in hours. Peter drove 500 kilometers, that's the total distance. So what we really do here is that, that's the activity. Let me write down like this, activity, right? He drove 500 kilometers, that's the total distance. Total comes in the last column. 500 kilometers. So Peter drove 500 kilometers from Windsor to Peterborough in 5.5 hours, that is total time. Is that okay? He drove part of the way at 100 kilometers per hour. So let's say part one, let's say activity one, okay. At 100 kilometers per hour and the rest at 80. The rest is, let's say part one and part two. At 80 kilometers per hour. How far did he drive at each speed? So we need to find distance driven. Now you could take X and Y as distance traveled for at 100 kilometers per hour and distance traveled at 80 kilometers per hour. You could do that. In that case, time will be speed divided by, I mean distance divided by speed, right? Time will be distance divided by speed. So you get some fractions. Now avoid fractions is the strategy. So the strategy here is avoid fractions. That is to say always use distances speed into time. So what we'll prefer is to define time as our variable. So let's say x is number of hours at 100 kilometers per hour. You have to define with let statement and y is number of hours at 80 kilometers per hour, correct? If x is the time and speed is 100, distance will be 100x. In this case, 80y, correct? That gives you two equations, right? So the equations for us are 100x plus 80y equal to 500, let me write, okay, 500, that's one equation. The other one is x plus y equals to 5.5. Now we can isolate one of these variables. We can say x equals to 5.5 minus y. Substitute this here, right? So that's the technique. So we are going to substitute this value of x in this equation. So we get equation one variable. So we can write this as 100 times 5.5 minus y. You see that? Plus 80y equals to 500. So we can just open the bracket. So it becomes 550 minus 100y plus 80y equals to 500. 
combine these y's, take 500 to the other side. Oh, this is 500, okay. So what we'll do is we'll bring this 500 to the left. We have 550 minus 500 equal to, we'll take these things to the right side. We get 100y minus 80y. That is 50 equals to 20y or y equals to 50 over 20, which is 5 over 2, right? So we get 5 over 2, which in decimals could be written as 2.5, right? 2.5. So we get y as 2.5. So we'll write this y as 2.5. We can find x now. So x equals to 5.5 minus 2.5 which is 3.0 so this is 3.0 and so the distance will be multiplied by 3 will give us 300 2 and a half that means half is 40 2 times is 160 which will give us 200 and when you add them up you get 500 do you get the idea right how to do it so we can write down the answer part one of the distance that means at 100 kilometers per hour distance was 300 kilometers and at 80 kilometers per hour distance traveled was 200 kilometers. Do you see that? So in this particular solution we avoided fractions by defining time as our variable, correct? But remember, to get distances, you need to ultimately multiply this time with speed to get the distance. Remember that part. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can share my videos and feel free to write suggestions. Thank you and all the best.